Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kwezi and today I'll be doing a video on my time with Uber. It's been five years and I have spent 100,000 Rand. So I think this definitely is something worth looking into. Um, just a reflection of my journey and all of that, you know. Yeah, I've literally had to write everything down because five years is a long time. And I've really, really taken the time to go back, find every single receipt that I could. Um, and just make an accurate calculation of, you know, how my journey has been. Um, so yeah, I signed up with Uber on the 18th of June in 2016, literally at 12 minutes past 12. That's when I got the email from Uber to say that I've officially signed up. Um, yeah, and I think I only then took my first trip in August. So, you know, there was quite a lot of time, you know, um, between me signing up and me finally gaining the confidence to you know um have my first trip so uh, i remember back in 2016 i was living in johannesburg uh, which is a great place cosmopolitan you know moving and but like busy all the time um and what i would do is i would use meter taxis to get around so you do it the old-fashioned way you dial the number you make the call you'd ask the guy how far away he is um and then he would say he's coming um and of course you'd never know how long he's gonna take so yeah if you want me to make a video on the pros and cons of using e-hailing uber bolt all of that um press the like button and i'll make more videos on this so yeah um finally um in august at the beginning of august um i was at a party um with a friend um, and as the designated driver, he was meant to be sober, but unfortunately he started turning up and it was super late. I had school the next day and I just wasn't comfortable going home with him. So literally in the middle of the night, in a moment of desperation, um, I called out to Uber and they were able to help me. So yeah, that's when I took my first Uber trip and it was really, really, really easy. Um, and also really, really cheap. Um, so yeah, I got home safely um, and the rest was history. I started using Uber quite regularly and I can see over here in my first month of using Uber, I spent 2,157 Rand on Uber. I got into it really, really quickly and I didn't look back. Um, I cut ties with the meter taxis um, that were helping me because it just wasn't beneficial. Um, I've actually, I remember very well uh, that going from my house to the closest car train station, uh, the meter taxis used to charge me a hundred rand. Um, and they'd even say that they're doing me a favor uh, and it's supposed to be a hundred and fifty rand. And then the minute I started using Uber, I was literally paying fifty rand. Um, so that huge difference um even in like the respect that the drivers have for you etc etc it was just so huge that there was no turning back for me uh with regards to me to taxis um so yeah i think what i want to do is just you know look at the total for each year so in 2016 uh my uber total was 14,483 rand in 2017 my Uber total was 28,777 Rand. Uh, then in 2018, my Uber total was 22,022 Rand. Then in 2019, my Uber total was 18,861 Rand. Um, then in 2020, my total came to 3,606 Rand. And in 2021, uh, I'll end the calculations at, at February because uh, I'm still in March. Um, in 2021, the total was 4,859 Rand. Um, so yeah, all five years put together comes to 92,608 Rand, 
which is quite a lot of money i i will say personally i'm completely shocked i'm shocked i'm so shocked that this is how much i was using like i didn't realize it you know because even going through my receipts it's a 50 rand here it's a 20 rand here and one just never realizes just how much it adds up i mean yes i've got my bank statements and all of that but with the transactions listed one by one you just get so over it i even struggled to find the receipts because you know after every trip they send you a receipt and it just piles up in your email and it takes up so much space so i had actually deleted a majority of these receipts and i had to dig really deep to find them online thankfully i did but yeah so it's just hundreds and hundreds and i think even thousands of trips um that have gotten me to this total um which i think is insane and i mean for me as a student 92,608 rand is a lot of money okay it is a lot of money and so looking at this figure for five years you know it made me think could i have bought a car with this money um and yeah i mean i know a lot of people that know me see me requesting all the time um and that's something people always say to me like why don't you just buy a car why don't you just buy a car um so i just want to look up the price of a car right now so maybe let's just look up the car that i would ideally buy which is probably just like a mercedes just an a3 let's see how it looks okay so i'm on the mercedes-benz website um and uh it's actually not an a3 excuse me that's the audi uh the mercedes-benz they have an a200 and an a250 so over here we've got the a200 for 8500 per month with a lovely little star next to it um I mean, as much as I had a lot of money, I don't remember ever being that liquid. Um, if I look at the months, because I've got the receipts put together month by month, I'm just trying to find probably my most expensive month. My most expensive month on Uber uh, was 6,268 Rand. Um, and then we've got my least expensive month on Uber, which especially in 2020, there were so many months where I didn't spend anything at all. And of course, having a car, car finance, I wouldn't have um, had the luxury of taking that break from paying anything. Um, so I personally don't believe that I could afford a car. And when I say I personally don't believe I could afford a car, I don't believe that I could have purchased maintained um and yeah just kept the car running it's actually quite expensive because in addition to this 8500 i would have had to get insurance um i would have also had to buy petrol and i would have had to fix the car every now and then and i just don't believe that uh as a student um who doesn't have a set amount of income i don't believe that um I was in, an, in a position to do that. Uh, I just really don't believe so. And I've had so many people try to talk me out of using Uber this much. So yeah, just to answer that question, you know, as to whether I could have afforded a car, I don't think so. And the other questions are, how else could I have used my money? Whew, I mean, 92,000 is a lot of money um so of course i could have started a business i could have had an amazing investment portfolio by now um and i think that's the good part you know of really sitting down with your receipts and really zooming out um and looking at the big picture and getting a bird's eye view at what's going on with your finances because now i've come to realize that I, I could be saving more if i can afford to use this much uh just on transports i absolutely should have savings that are equivalent to or even more um this, than this amount so i mean yeah like this is an eye-opening experience for me um to sit down and look at all these numbers so yeah but i mean being with uber has been great of course i've had to complain 
oh, so many times, you know, because, you know, maybe the driver's on rides or the car's on rides or whatever. Um, but I think one thing I must say is that Uber is such an amazing platform. Yes, they don't necessarily have um, a cell phone number that you can dial. They don't really have an office that you can walk into and shout at someone face to face. But even though they are online, um, their responses are so quick um, and they are so quick to apologize, take accountability, you know, and make sure that you're okay. In my experiences. Um, and so for that reason, I always have felt safe with Uber, um, you know, no matter what's going on. Um, so yeah, I just really love Uber for that. Um, but I think the craziest moment for me, um, was my most expensive trip. Um, I got into an Uber and I drove 596 kilometers in that Uber. Oh my gosh. Um, so that distance was the distance from Johannesburg to Durban. And that is a seven hour trip. Um, I took an Uber that far. Uh, if you want to know the story behind it, just comment below. I will I will give you the tea, baby. Yes, the trip took eight hours, 25 minutes and 54 seconds. Um, and it was from 2 p.m. Uh, from Johannesburg. And we arrived in Durban at 10 p.m at half past 10 uh, so it was eight hours of being in the car and driving me and yeah uh, god bless that driver because he really really helped me the total of this trip um was four thousand eight hundred and fifty eight rand and 95 cents then i can also see like the breakdown of it all so the base fare was just five rand for the distance, I paid 4,474 rand 53 cents, and for the time, I paid 379 rand 42 cents, um, which is insane. Like, literally, uh, yeah, it was not smart of me to take that trip because I mean, with 4,858 rand, I could have easily gotten like more than four flights um between these two destinations so yeah this is definitely one of the craziest trips that i've taken um all in all i've really really enjoyed using uber all these years and even if i buy a car in the future i will still use uber for maybe nights where i'm partying um and also to just you know send packages to people as well you know but yeah this has been so much fun for me um it's been such an eye-opener just looking back in time um and yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video please like please subscribe please share um and i'll see you in the next video bye